everybody, it's Kenny right here on the set of the Knowing You video. It's a great place to shoot. Mwah. Can't wait for you to see it. Alright, let's go guys. B speeds. A speeds. We had an absolute blast shooting the No One New video. This was the first one that I've done like this in a while where it took us three or four days to really do a full-blown production shoot. Kenny wanted something that was gonna be on that cinematic level again. And, and I say again because I feel like there have been moments in his career where he's come to me and he's said, hey, let's Let's go to the next level. Let's 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 push it. No one knew you probably got your toes in the sand at a bar on a beach in the sun somewhere. When I heard the song No One Knew, I knew there was a lot of my life in it. I knew that it was not necessarily a heartbreak song, but it was somebody that was reflecting in a very positive way about someone that was very important in their life. I felt like there needed to be two different scenarios. There had to be a place where the character in the video was currently living, and then there had to be the place that he was remembering where he was very happy, where he was really alive, where he experienced a lot of life with the memory of this person. But God, we were so The first location was in Gloucester, Massachusetts, in New England. And I had been to Gloucester a couple of times. I spent a lot of time in New England. And I love being in an atmosphere where you can walk on the dock, where you can smell the ocean, you can smell fresh fish, and maybe just a hint of gasoline in the water. Those kind of places really make me happy, you know? And if I was going to move forward in my life from someone, that would be the kind of environment where I would want to do it. And that's why I decided that I was going to be the character on this fishing boat. I really felt like that's where the character in this song would be. I do it all over, cause damn it was good. I do it all over, cause damn it was good. No. background. Uh, Great. Yeah. The day before I got to Gloucester, Sean Silva and the crew was there and he, they did a bunch of drone shots over this lighthouse. And it was a very clear morning. It was absolutely beautiful. Sean sent me a little bit of the footage and I went, oh, that's really great. It's going to look beautiful. But from the morning where Sean shot all that beautiful footage when it was really clear till the actual morning where we shot, it became unseasonably warm for November in New England. And it created this beautiful, thick, marine layer of fog. I mean, it was beautiful. You know, everything's kind of gray and mysterious and, and again, very cinematic. And I said, I'm gonna take the drone up and see what I can get. And as it's coming up, I'm coming out of this low-lying fog and I'm seeing the land three, four, five miles away in the distance. I'm like, oh my God, it's like I just got chills. I'm like, this is incredible. And it was such a drastic contrast from the location scout. We couldn't have been given a better gift for shooting because it was just so beautiful and dramatic. Okay, let's go ahead and playback. After we left the lighthouse, our next shoot was in a small bar in Gloucester uh, called Pratty's. Everybody there was so great to us. And I'm telling you right now, it's as authentic of a bar as you'll find anywhere. I absolutely loved it. And if I lived in New England and if I lived in Gloucester, you would probably see me sitting in a corner there playing music on a Friday and Saturday night for tips, just like I did 
in the video. It's a really funky, wonderful place to go have a beer and listen to music and play pool. And one thing that I absolutely loved, and it's ironic that, I, that, that I'm performing this video in a corner of this bar where one of my favorite NBA players ever, Larry Bird, is right on the wall. And I, I grew up loving the Boston Celtics and loved Larry Bird. Just something that's behind the scenes and one of the reasons I sat in that corner to, to sing the song no one used because that's one of my favorite, you know, he's one of the best athletes and basketball players ever. And uh, I don't know, made me happy that I was sitting there singing Larry Bird right here to my right shoulder. <laughs>